Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Algebra 1 class. Uh, we are talking about exponents and powers in this chapter 6. And I created some extra notes for us because this uh, is not in the book. And it's very important in order to continue forward. So I'm going to show you today how to multiply powers with the same base. And we're also going to raise powers to a power. So it's, it's going to be a good, good day. When you multiply the same bases together, please be careful with this. Remember, when you have x squared, x is the base. Negative 3 cubed, negative 3 is the base. 4 squared, 4 is the base. When you're multiplying the same bases together, whether the bases are numbers, or variables. Simply keep the same base and add the exponents. That's it. Then simplify the numerical values accordingly. It's called multiplying powers of the same base. It's the, it's the power product property. And it states that if I have a to the m power times a to the n power, I'm going to have a to the m plus n power, literally. So, 5 squared times 5 cubed is 5 to the 2 plus 3. It's 5 to the 5th. Why? Because they have the same base. So, you keep the base and add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 to the 5th power. And remember, 5 to the 5th power equals 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Times five. Uh, no, just 5 fives. <laughs> Okay, how do I find that? Well, what's 5 times 5? 25. Times 5? That's 125. Times 5? 625. And then times 5? Anybody, anybody? 3,125. Okay, so that's how that works x to the a times x to the negative 3. Add, keep the base and add the exponents. What is 8 plus a negative 3? 5. So I have x to the fifth power. Does that make sense, folks? Okay. I have four, 14 to the fifth power times 14 to the seventh power. It's going to be 14 to the 5 plus 7. So that's 14 to the 12th power. W to the 15th times W to the 13th. That's W. You keep the base. To the 15 plus 13, you add the exponents. W to the 28th power is the answer. Easy peasy, right? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir? Oh, okay. Are you going to have a situation where I make you solve 14th to the 12th power? Nah. I'm not going to make you do that. Don't even worry about that. Like, you know, if I do give you one like that, I'll just say, leave it in exponential form. Yeah, that's what a calculator is for. Yes, sir. Well, if you have bases that are different, think about the lesson that we just finished teaching. Okay? Okay? Think about what we just finished teaching. If I have 5 squared times 3 cubed, can I... What do I do here? I cannot combine them. Do they have the same base? No. This is 25 times 27. And then you go ahead and calculate that. You only add the exponents. Please, guys, thank you for the question. When they have the same base. Not kind of the same or the same exact base. Does that make sense, sir? Thank you very much. May I continue, gentlemen? Okay. So, let's practice. Find the simplified form of each expression. Be sure to use only positive exponents. We've already talked about these things. We want positive exponents only. Yes, sir. 1 over 4 cubed. Very good. This is... 
4 to the negative 7 plus 4, which is 4 to the negative 3, which is 1 over 4 cubed. But go ahead and give it to me all the way. Simplified. 1 over 64. My friends, don't get blocked up here. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. Thank you. Okay, I got 2x to the 7th times 3x to the negative 11th times 4x to the 4th. The numbers always can be multiplied. You're not going to add the exponents, but they can always be multiplied. So always go by numbers first. What's 2 times 3 times 4? 24. Very good. Now, what's x to the 7th times x to the negative 11th times x to the 4th? That's going to be x to the 7th. My, minus 11 plus 4. Because I keep the base of x. Yes, hold on. I keep the base of x and I add all the exponents. 7 minus 11 is negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Very good. So that's 24x to the 0 power, which equals 24. Remember, the 0 only affects the x. You now see why I taught you guys the zero exponents yesterday and the negative, okay? Sometimes I'm crazy, but it, uh, it makes sense. What's the base here, guys? Be careful for, for C. Very good. So it's negative 2 to the 3 plus 3 to the 6th power. Does that make sense? Now, what did I tell you yesterday? If I have an even number of negatives, is the final answer going to be positive or negative? It's going to be positive. Good job. And if I have an odd number of, of uh, exponents, it's going to be negative. So uh, negative 2 to the 6th power, we've got 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Positive. I don't even worry about the negatives at this point because I know that if I have an even exponent, I'm talking about a positive number, regardless what the answer is. It's going to be positive. If I have a negative base raised to the odd exponent, it's going to be negative. Regardless. Does that make sense, y'all? Excellent. Okay. D. Negative 3D cubed times 2D to the negative 5th times 4D to the 8th. Very good. Numbers first. I'm very proud of you. Negative 24. And then D to the 3rd times D to the negative 5th times D to the 8th. It's going to be D to the 6th. Very good. Because 3 minus 2 is negative, is negative 2 plus 8 is 6. My friends, are we all staying together with me here? Each and every one of you understands what we're doing here, my brothers. Awesome. Thank you. Let's continue. Oh, what was that all about? Let's continue the right way. All right. 2x cubed times 3x to the fifth. Yes, sir. 6x to the eighth. Boom. I couldn't have done it better myself. Okay. Thank you for asking. I want positive exponents. This is a positive exponent. Actually... I'm glad you said that. Some students yesterday on the quiz, okay, they had this like this and whatever. Let's say, let's say that was the answer. They went ahead and did this. That is completely wrong. I never said that when you go from numerator to denominator, you change the sign of the number. Did I? That you only go up or down to change the sign of the exponent. So here, my brother, thank you for asking and caring. It is a positive exponent, so I'm good. I'm golden. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so what is this one going to be? F. X to the fourth. Very good. Bingo. Next. 4Z cubed times 2W to the fourth times 3Z squared times 5Z to the fifth. Wow, nice. I got 60 because 4 times 2 is 8 times 3. Oh, no. No, it doesn't matter. You can, you, no, 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 okay, thank you. This is, I'm so glad. Great mistake. Guys, numbers can always be multiplied together. So the numbers here are all going to be multiplied. So I've got 4 times 2, which is 8, times 3, which is 24, times 5, which is 120. Now, now you guys are perfect, the logic. Z cubed times Z squared times Z to the fifth is z to the tenth. And then I have a w to the fourth. I am so proud of you guys. That was a good mistake. Yes, sir. 
It does not matter if you put the W or the um, Z first. Why? Because of the commutative property of multiplication. 2 times 3 is the same thing as 3 times 2. So you can switch the order of multiplication. But what I want you to be very clear on, I don't care what variables they are. All of the numbers always get multiplied together, gentlemen. Now, the, the variables, they have to be the same for you to be able to combine them using exponents. But the numbers, it does not matter. Does that make sense? Then last but not least, what do we got here? Yeah, you got j to the 7th times k to the negative 2, which equals j to the 7th over k squared. Does that make sense? Any questions before we move on? Because we got plenty of time. May I continue? Everybody is good? All right. Now, now we're going to learn the power property, okay? When you raise a power to a power, what does that mean? That means this. If I have x squared and I raise it to the third power, very good. You multiply them. When you raise a power to a power, again, keep the base. And this time, multiply the exponents. You're going to distribute this outside exponent to every exponent inside. To every exponent inside of the parentheses. Then, simplify the numerical values accordingly. What are you saying? When I have a to the m raised to the n power, you multiply that outside exponent to every exponent inside the parentheses. So this would equal a to the m times n. What if I have multiple things in parentheses? Again, you distribute the outside exponent to everything every exponent inside the parentheses. So a to the m times b to the n raised to the p power. This is going to be a to the mp times b to the np. You distribute the outside exponent to every exponent inside of the parentheses. Does that make sense? OK. Let's see. So I have p cubed to the fourth power. Boom, done. Four times three, that's p to the twelfth. Bye bye. W cubed times w to to the fourth raised to the fifth. W to the twenty-third power. Very good. This is w cubed times w to the twentieth. Beautiful job. You multiply the same base, you add the exponents. Fantastic. Okay, what do I got here, my man? No. Is there an exponent here in the three, guys? There's an invisible one here, right? Don't forget about that, please. This is going to be 3 cubed x to the 6. You multiply the outside exponent to every exponent inside of the parentheses. 3 cubed is... Come on, guys. Three times three is. Okay, I've got I got 18 as an answer, 24 as an answer, 27. Yes, three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. Come on, my friends, focus. Pay attention. Thank you. And last but not least, what do we got here? Yes, sir. Negative eight y cubed. Very good. This is in parentheses, so everything here gets affected. This is negative 2 to the third power times y to the third power because I distribute the exponent to every exponent inside the parentheses. So it's going to equal negative 8y cubed. Please do not bring that 8 down. That 8 does not have a negative exponent. So please do not bring it down, please. Does that make sense, y'all? Yes? Okay, let's practice. 
I got y to the negative 3 times y to the third raised to the fifth power. What does this become? y to the negative 3 times y to the 15, which equals y to the 12th. Excellent. Because when you multiply the same base, you add the exponents. Perfect. 2x to the 7th raised to the negative 2 power. Hold on, step by step, step by step. What do we do first? This is 2 to the negative 2, x to the beautiful. Now, this is going to equal 1 over 2 squared. And then that's going to equal 1 over 4x to the 14th. I know that some of you are saying, oh, moral. I don't like going through the steps, man. I can do it in two seconds. Let me be, man. Let me be free. You can be free. I'm not telling you not to. I'm just, be careful. A lot of stuff is going on here. Don't start this off by trying to do it in your head. Show yourself. I promise you that the more you show yourself, the more you will be able to do it in your head later. But you have to have a visualization. Okay, what happens here for C, please? That's right. Not to 7, but to the exponent of 7, which is 1. So this is 7 cubed, which is, hold on, I'll get that in a second, W18. And that is 349. 349, 147. Guys, 7 times 7 is 49. <laughs> times 7, there's a 3 here, 6. The first person said it correctly. 343 W to the 18th. My friends, I mean this with all the respect in my in my heart. You got to know your times tables, okay? Please. That's all I'm gonna say. You got to know them. Okay, 5A B to the fourth raised to the third power equals five cubed. Go step by step. Thank you, A cubed. And b to the 12, fantastic. And then this equals? 5 times 5 is? 125. A cubed. b to the 12. My friends, trust me. It's easy if you just go step by step. Boom, boom, boom. You'll knock it out. Sir, you have a question? Oh, okay. You want to do the next one? Awesome. Okay. Step by step, though. What, what do you got? Would, it, would that negative 5 be in parentheses? Yes, it would be because it's already in parentheses. Be careful. So it's negative 5 to the negative third. That's a negative there. W to the... Is this 3 negative or not, guys? Is this 3 here negative or not? It is negative. Okay, then Then he, he is right. This would... Oh, because that's a negative 2? Got you. Sorry, I couldn't see that. So that's to the ninth. Thank you. Y to the negative 15. Good. Next step, my brother. Hold on. Let him, let him finish. Nope. Nope. Negative exponents, guys. What do we do with that? We just learned that yesterday. Come on, guys. What do we do with that? Okay, guys, come on. What do we do with that? We bring it down to the denominator. Did my friends, didn't we just have a quiz on this? Okay, thank you. Please focus. W to the ninth over negative 5 in parentheses cubed y to the 15th. It's negative. It's in the numerator. you got to bring it down. So that's going to equal w to the ninth negative 125 y to the 15th. My friends, we had a lot of uh, bumps there. Talk to me, please. How can I help you with that? What's going on? How can I help you? Yes, sir. Okay. Next, 8 to the negative 2, x to the 4th, y cubed to the 5th power. What do we got here? Go. 8 to the negative 10 x to the 20th, y to the 15th, which equals? Yes, sir, x to the 20th, 
Y to the 15th over 8 to the 10th. I won't make you do that. I would let you leave that like that. No. There's a shortcut. The question was, isn't there a shortcut because it's a power of 10? No. There's a shortcut if it's 10 to some power. If I got 10 to the 8th, put a 1 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros. That's easy. It's, it's very, yeah, it's scientific notation. That's exactly what it is. Similar. The scientific notation, you have something else being multiplied to it. But yes, same concept. Okay, next. What do we got here? 2x squared times times 3x cubed y to the third power. What do I do first? 2x squared because I got to do exponents first, right? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Times? No. It's not 3x, guys. My friends, remember, there's an invisible one here, brothers. So this is 3 cubed x to the ninth, y cubed. Very good. Now what? First to the numbers. What's 3 cubed? 27 times 2? 54. Good. Now, x squared times x to the ninth, x to the 11th, and then I have y cubed. Talk to me, please, folks. It's very important that you get this. You're going to be using this pretty much for the rest of the year. Thank you for asking. x squared times x to the ninth, when you have the same base, you add the exponent, sir. Okay, H. This is a good one. This is a good one. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff going on here. What, what do we got? Uh, someone else. Talk to me. Very good. There's an, ex an invisible one there. Excellent. Three cubed. X to the sixth. Y to the twelfth. Beautiful. 2 squared. Excellent. Excellent. I couldn't have done it better myself. Great. Now focus on the numbers. You got a question or you want to continue it? Question. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you just say? 3x to y. Yeah. Can I distribute it to this one? Oh, God, no. God, no. No, it's always to the left. Remember what we talked about when we talked about exponents? The exponent affects everything to its left, never to its right. Thank you. Great question. But no, 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 no. Now, always deal with the numbers first. What's 3 cubed? 27 was 2 squared. What's 27 times 4? What is it? Yes, it is. 108. Done. Now, X to the 6 of X to the 6. X to the 12. Guys, if you just say X12, that's what that means. X12 is like a type of a razor or something. No. It's the X12 Ultra Shave Razor. No. X to the 12th. And then Y to the 14th. Phenomenal. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right? Excellent job, guys. Well done. Hope you learned a lot. Thank you and have a great day.